Lynn got along all right before she ever heard of the Kimberly Star. She can get along without it now. What are you talking about? Absolutely nothing, my sweet. What is going on here? I can't go to the dawn without tripping over a car. I found one in the broom closet. I think he tried to look like a vacuum cleaner. Routine protection, you know, the sort of trash that's attracted to a film festival. Don't hand me that bull. I just heard you say you'd give away my star. Uh, wherever did you get that idea? It's that skinny Greek broad who's going to be in your next picture. I've seen how you look at her. Well, give her ten bucks. It's more than she's worth. That's unkind to a very nice lady and beneath your dignity. If you're in charge of these cops, I don't know what they're here for, but get them out fast. Who are you? Uh, secretary of the local branch of the Lynn Martin fan club, madam. I'm sorry, Tony, but you'll have to tell the Greek she is out of luck. The star's in the safe in my bedroom, and I had the combination changed. I'm the only one who knows it. Lynn? The people that sent me this note have already committed three murders. Sorry, darling, I should have known you have better taste than to go for the Greek. It wasn't nice of me. So, if you'll give me the star. No chance. You silly cow. These men are monsters. They'd kill you as an object lesson. I have been getting crackpot threats since I made my first picture when I was 16. I mean 12. All right, January, you can keep your army on hand, but tell them to stay out of my way. The fans will see me at the festival tomorrow. And I will be wearing the star. Why don't you get rid of that lousy mirror? 